back to another Unity tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and create our winning condition for our game along with our UI. Um, so we left off where our board was completely uh, randomized and we could flip all the cards and match them. So now what we want to do is determine when we win. So go ahead and open up your playmat and we have this spot in our compare where we were printing out we got a match so we're going to delete that and what we want to do now is keep track of our uh, points so we're going to add two ints the total points that we can get from this type of map and the current points that we have and these are going to be public. Okay, so total points is going to be uh, assigned after we do our create card types. So the total points you can get from the board is the number of cards divided by two. So total points equals cards dot count. divided by 2 and when we get a point we're going to go ahead or when we get a match we're going to go ahead and increment our points then we're going to check to see if our points is equal to total points and then if they are equal then we know that we have uh, one there are no more valid matches Okay, so we're going to make this pool called Game 1, and it's going to notify us that we have won the game. Alright, so now we want to make our UI, and we're going to use Unity's UI system for this, which is a little uh, harder than some of the third party ones that you can get but it's not too bad. Let's start off by creating an empty game object and we're going to call this the UI and we're going to center this to 0, 0, 0. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, prefab our playmat. So just drag that into your prefab folder. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a new script called UI and we're going to attach our UI script to this. We're going to go ahead and delete the playmat from our uh, hierarchy. Alright, let's open this up. So, we're going to go ahead and use one of the Unity functions called onGUI. And we're going to need a enumeration or a state menu in game and options, which are the three types of menus we can have open. We will also have a public state state, and we're going to start off in the menu. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a switch statement to control which of our state UIs are seen. Menu. Options. And then in game. Okay. Each one of these is going to call a different function. and options. Alright, 
and then we're going to call them depending on what state we're in. And the last thing we're going to need right now is a reference to our uh, playmat. All right, so the way the Unity GUI works is we can have a button, which is an if statement, or returns a bool. And they take a rectangular position and some GUI content, which in our case is just going to be a string. So to position this stuff properly, we're going to set this to the middle of the screen. And our width is going to be 100, our height will be 30, and it will call out play game. And when we click this button, it's going to go ahead and change our state from menu to game. And then it is also going to instantiate our playmat. And we also want to offset our width by half of our, or our position, our x position by half of our width, which will be 50. Okay. So when we do this, and then we want to assign our prefab, and then we can click play, and we have this button here, we can click it and our board will start up. If you'll notice we are also in the in-game state now. Um, in our menu we want to have another button. This is called Options. We want to offset our height now by 35 to give a little bit of padding between the two. All this will do is change our state to Options. Then in our Options we're going to have some buttons. Four buttons. We will have back, easy, medium, and hard, and this will control our difficulty. And each one of these buttons will then change what difficulty we are currently in. The back button will change our state back to our menu. We will use our game settings dot instance dot set difficulty. And then we're going to want to remove this from our playmat. In our playmat, we were doing this at the very beginning. Uh, right here, which we no longer want to do, so we can delete that. Okay, so now we also want to know which button we clicked. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a color C, and this is going to equal a bool state or an if statement that's going to determine whether or not our game setting is this. Uh, setting. So we can do this by saying game settings dot instance dot difficulty. Dot. We do not have access to it, so let's go ahead and get that.
Let me change that to public. Back in our UI, we can now say difficulty. If this difficulty equals easy, the question mark, this is shorthand for writing an if statement, then we're going to return color dot green or red. Otherwise, it will be color dot green. So all this is is an if statement. This is our true condition. This is our false condition. This is the comparison. If our difficulty equals this. And then after this we want to say GUI dot color equals C. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this. Paste it below. And then one more time. And then we're going to change this easy to medium. And then the easy to hard. And then that should handle our options buttons. So if we click play, we can go to options. Oh, we need to offset all of these. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say plus 35. Plus 70. Plus 105.